Hello everyone, Spoiled Wizard here, or Wiz for short, finally back with some more last year. Here we have the Sheriff, oh wait, no wait, I'm sorry, the Slasher, or the Full Metal Slasher, the Lockdown, the Meltdown, the Bloodshed, the Outbreak, or the Gravedigger. Man, this guy has a lot of skins. And for good reason too, the Slasher here is the most basic out of all the fiends. And I kid you not, like he's really just an axe-wielding maniac like any other iconic horror figure, so let's just get into it. Sadly, I've been having some issues with my game. Um, frame rates have been going all over the place, especially in the sawmill here. So you will see some stuttering, um, you know, stutter issues here and there. But overall, it's not too consistent. It, it runs pretty smoothly. Also, I'm not sure by the time this goes live, there's been another uh, <laughs> another nuke attack happening on in the lobbies again for last year. Before, it was um, someone who basically made it so all the classmates could join a single game so there would be like 20 classmates in one game it was crazy now it's basically um ddosing the killer lobby and making your game crash so um hopefully that's fixed by then so be careful while you're playing fiend classmate should be okay though i have heard that the same person is also pretty much playing as a second fiend in the lobby so uh yeah that's interesting uh, but yeah, so far, um, hopefully the gameplay will speak for itself. I can't really say much because, again, the slasher is very basic. We're gonna start things off with a cheesy cleave attack into a saw blade. <laughs> Sorry. Would have been cool though. Uh, the main ability for the slasher is the cleave. Um, the cleave attack is basically him swinging his axe 180 degrees in front of him. Um, any classmate within that uh, cone will be dealt, I believe, 40 damage and of course get knocked back. Hence the cleave play I was trying to go for with the saw blade. Um, but yeah, no, I recommend not going into battle without it. If you find yourself on cooldown, I'd wait it out because it guarantees a down when... Um, any classmate is below half health. Nope. Uh, no. Watch out, trap. <laughs> Forget about me? Surprise! Yeah, Slasher's utility is uh, really great for closing the gap between you and a classmate. The dash alone can also help for retreating whenever you're finding yourself in a pinch. Here's a deadly combo you can try for yourself. Boom, there you go. Slasher is all about combos, really. Um, like I said, don't go in without your cleave. We're going to go punish this with a corner tech. Um, get in at most two hits in and a cleave, and I believe they would go down. If not, three at most, depending on their health, really. So, dish out as much damage as you can. Okay, I completely love this Nick. This Nick right here, he's a trooper. He just goes all out.
Here's the second cleave play of the day. Here's a really cool trick from Nick here, doing some parkour. I really like the parkour aspect of last year, of what it has to offer. You can definitely pull off tricks like that. It's pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure it's divided within the community. Um, how jumpy, I guess you could say, the classmates are. Disgusting, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> See what I mean? This Nick is such a trooper. I love him. He's fun. I think this chat was complaining earlier about me not getting blinded. Um, really, I just bait out the flash. I, you know, I go up to them, look the other way. They usually panic and just uh, go in for a flash. So it's really not too hard. Um, but still, you know, always keep an eye on your scouts. Be careful because if you get so fixated on one classmate, you'll get blinded like that. I got you. This reminds me of something Raj would say.
So as they're cranking that wheel or valve or whatever, um, I have my traps on the tracks. Trap tracks? Wow, that's uh, that rolls off the tongue. Anyways, since they're doing that, you can go in for a cleave attack and it should knock them back into the trap like so. Of course it never works out for me, I'm very sorry for baiting you like this, <laughs> but you know, it's the idea that counts. Every fucking time, somehow I'm really right now. I can explain. Yeah, I wanted to dash past them, but it, it didn't work. <laughs> Alright, as a classmate, look, I get you can crouch past the traps, but you're just asking for trouble. Try to avoid this whenever you're playing classmate. It, it's just not a good idea. This pretty much concludes the entire match. I, unfortunately, I was only able to get this one match right here, which was like the longest and really good down to details of what you need to do with Slasher. Of course, again, he's just a guy with an axe. <laughs> so whatever you learn from the previous fiends, you try to apply with him and his kit. So yeah, not much else could be said. However, this next match that I managed to get is going to be a very serious one. Um, of course, with the whole situation with the lobbies, it's been very hard to get games, but I did manage to get this one. Um, but knowing my luck again, my recorder stopped halfway through the match. I wasn't able to recover most of it, so of course I did get one important thing, but that will be at the end of it, I'll show you. Um, this match right here, this cl these classmates have great, uh, I believe, communication. I'm pretty sure they were pre-made. Um, but no, yeah, they knew what they were doing. They kept me pressured. I couldn't dish out enough damage. I did what I could. I didn't get no kills. I did get kills. But, you know, it wasn't enough to guarantee a win. So I know you see me winning all my games. You think probably I'm like one of the best fiends out there. Thank you if you do think that. <laughs> but no, ultimately I do get dunked on. It happens to us eventually. Um, you get paired up with a team and there's not much you can do. Anywho, I'll let the gameplay speak for itself from here. <laughs> Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> 
the game. Look out. <laughs> Oh yeah, the struggle is real, but um, yeah, no, I want to show you a play, not from me, but from the classmates. These two right here, the scout and the medic. The medic can craft the gas mask, right? The scout can craft a smoke grenade or smoke bomb. Throw it, and right there. These two paired up is a free objective. I can't do anything about it. See how I'm stunned from the smoke? And the medic, since he has his gas mask on, isn't affected by it and can easily do the objective. It is a deadly, deadly combo and practically unfair. There's not much you can do. I mean, I was the spider. You saw me uh, spit my acid or venom. And, um, you know, what I could have done was do it on the objective, but I didn't realize they were doing this play until it was too late. Um, but yeah, no, deadly, deadly combo. I, I was so surprised by it because I haven't seen that play in so long. This is all the way back in the nightmare, I believe, or even the early days of the of chapter one after dark. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy, but yeah, you, you can see how, how frustrating it can be. Even though the footage got corrupted, I'm glad I was able to recover these kinds of plays. Um, I know I definitely could have done better. You can, let me know, you can let me know down in the comments what I could have done better. But uh, yeah, this is uh, the type of players you might be able to face once in a while, so do be careful. Even then, props to all of them. They played really well. I couldn't even catch up to them. They, they kept out maneuvering me. They kept pressuring me. Uh, and, and of course the cheeky blinds, they were really good, well timed. But right here at the end, um, I did manage to recover the most important thing in the match. It's the end game screen. <laughs> I did manage to get one of them. Uh, however, you know, there's still a lot to improve, a lot to learn about the mechanics of the game. Um, but you know, I'm glad that these videos and gameplay, not only for your entertainment, also kind of helps you how to be, you know, a top fiend and you'll prove it, you'll prevail. Don't worry. Um, as you keep playing, the more you practice, the more you go up against these good players, the better you'll be. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will see you all in the next one. Take care out there.